guys. What were we gonna say? Hey guys, Tom Gray here with Sonia Bellis over here. <laughs> hey guys, Tom Gray here with Sonia Bellis. <laughs> We uh, are in the middle of shooting our next video, which is going to come out next week, and we are taking a break to do a fun little game that we like to call On The Spot. I come up with uh, a bunch of songs that I want Sonia to just make up an arrangement on the spot, and she listens to the song for a couple seconds, and then literally comes up with something off the top of her head. Now, we're currently doing an Indiegogo campaign. One of our contributors sent me an email specifically asking for Sonia's take on some classic Nintendo themes. Now, in order to do one of our big videos, it takes a lot of time, money, and effort, so you know it'll be a bit before you hear anything like that for our big videos, but for right now, in honor of our contributor, Oliver Fisher, Thank you very much for that, by the way. Um, we are going to play Oliver's top Nintendo themes that he sent us. So he's going to listen to them for a moment and then make something up off the top of her head. <sighs> Kid Icarus. I think Oliver got his money's worth for that one. <laughs> what is number? Super Mario Bros. 3. Yeah, hey, that brought back my Super Mario Brothers 3 memories. Okay. I've heard this of course. Before, yes. I would I would have been shocked had the regular Super Mario Brothers theme not been not been included on this list. Yeah, we definitely have to do a, a main video on that one. <laughs> ah, Castlevania. I, I have to say I appreciate Oliver's choice of music, though I personally would have picked the Simon's Quest theme, Bloody Tears. That's just me. But... Does anyone agree? You agree? No? Anyone know what I'm talking about? No? Our crew does not play video games. Awesome. Let's move on. Ah, Mega Man 2. Okay, we have, um, other, than, other than just Oliver wanting to do this, Oliver, our, our contributor, um, we've had so many comments for Mega Man mm -hmm. for some reason, which, don't get me wrong, not for some reason, it's awesome, but um, I've had, we've had more comments for Mega Man than Zelda.
I'm geeking out. All right, uh, let's do this. Let's see, let's see what we got. Number two. Oh, we're, number two. We're already at number two. All right, that was number three. Awesome. So, uh, anyone that doesn't know, this is the DuckTales, the moon theme song. Um, can I just say, Oliver Fisher, whoever you are, you have very good taste in Nintendo music. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Okay. So, um, bring the camera closer. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I challenge anybody on the internet to come up with a better two-minute ah. arrangement of DuckTales than that. That's ridiculous. This is why I do this project, by the way, because of this. <laughs> Ready? No. Awesome. Let's find out what number one is. I have a feeling I know what number one's gonna be. The six-year-old self of me remembers this game coming out. That, that's a Legend of Zelda thing. At some point, we will do a big video of that where we have a piano up on a mountainside and horses and fairies. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Oliver Fisher, who suggested this list to us, thank you for your contribution on our Indiegogo campaign. I hope that you were satisfied with our short version of addressing your need for Nintendo music. Depending on how the campaign goes, we may pick some of these songs to do much bigger, grander videos and give Sony a little bit more than a minute to uh, yeah, we'll come, up, nice. come up with an arrangement. Anyway. If you like what we do, uh, please check out our Indiegogo campaign and consider contributing and help us make more music for everybody. That's all I got. Okay, great. For, for any of us, uh, our, us older folk who remember when this game came out, yeah, there was a, uh, there was, there was a movie. Um, why am I blanking on the name of the movie? Was it the, he had the power glove with Fred Savage? Anyone? The wizard? Was it the wizard? The Game Master, The Wizard. Anyway, it was a movie with Fred Savage, and there was a, the whole thing was like building up to the, to the Super Mario Brothers 3 coming out. And they had this whole thing about using the Power Glove to play Super Mario Brothers 3. And if anybody's played with the Power Glove, it is the biggest piece of shit. Uh, but in the movie, they like made it look like the coolest thing, like the guy was doing this, and it was fucking terrible. Yeah, that's called being a director. Now let's get back to music.